Welcome to the first episode on how to make a pixel art turn-based RPG game in Unity. In this episode, we will be setting up Unity and talking about its basics. The main goal of this series is to make a template or empty shell that you can use to build your own game. I like to show the process without cuts, showing you the reality of programming, rather than just showing the results of it. I might stop to look at some information or correct mistakes I've made along the way. And that said, let's start with uh, the episode here. Uh, so the first thing I want to show uh, is uh, Unity and the basics of the interface. So in Unity, we have uh, a bottom part right here which is uh, the assets uh, folders here we can create several folders like the source code or the textures then we will put our uh, assets here on the left side we have the scene hierarchy here we have a main camera and a directional light. Okay. In the center part we can uh, see how uh, the scene is uh, set up and we can ch uh, change things like move lights around, move the camera, anything like that. On the right side we have the inspector, uh, which is the the properties of the objects we have selected like the camera properties or the lights in unity uh, when we click play we will be shown the game uh, layout here uh, we can uh, put it like that so we can see both the scene and the game or we can change the the properties on the right in this in this vector okay so now uh, what I'm going to be doing is to uh, set up the game uh, the unity to uh, work uh, better with uh, pixel art so first I'm going to go to build settings and uh, choose uh, my target platform okay I'm going to be uh, developing for PC but you could choose Android, iOS, Windows Phone, WebGL anything like that for uh, to develop for consoles you will need to uh, use a license so to, so like talking to Sony or Microsoft but for the most part uh, we will be using a uh, PC because it's uh, the easiest platform to get access to so if we click here on the player settings in the spectre on the right we will be shown several settings that we can change so here under the company name I'm going to be specifying Nubo Games the product name is TBRPG like turn based RPG I'm not going to put any uh, to put any icon or cursor right now so then uh, if we uh, see here these icons, we can see uh, different settings for each platform. Uh, the settings that have uh, like an asterisk are shared between multiple platforms. So I'm going to be using this uh, so we can see things better. So I don't want the game to run on full screen, I prefer uh, the game to be windowed. 
and also uh, I'd like to use uh, another resolution I'd like to use uh, 256 times 224 which is the resolution that uh, SNES has since we are will be working on pixel art it should be uh, a good resolution to start with okay so then we have uh, some options here uh, here uh, I can be changing anything I want so I'm not going to be using player lock and uh, supported aspect ratio I'm going to leave it like that for now I will be changing things here later so uh, here we have uh, options for icons for splash images but I want you I want to explain how these settings work the other settings here we have the rendering path which is how the uh, rendering will go we have a forward rendering deferred li legacy vertex lead or legacy deferred the fastest one is forward since we are not going to be using uh, a complex lighting system uh, we'll be using just the forward uh, rendering because it's the simplest uh, easiest one for the CPU and the GPU and we will uh, have better uh, optimization if we do that the color space we have gamma or linear I'm not uh, the difference between them isn't very shocking to see I'm going to leave the default gamma uh, we want both static batching and dynamic batching to be on because they uh, what they do is to uh, group, uh, group objects with the same properties so we le we make less uh, draw calls which uh, will make the game run faster okay uh, we will leave this here API below that okay so that should be um, configuring uh, the player settings so next step will be to configure the camera here we have a 3d camera which is going to be rendering what's inside these uh, lines like that uh, pyramid it's called the frustrum and it's uh, where the the camera looks so anything inside the frustrum uh, will be rendered to screen uh, the first thing that they want uh, to change here in the camera is the the perspective here we have a 3d uh, perspective I want to change it to be an orthographic per uh, projection here under the projection properties the camera I'm going to be using orthographic okay so now as you can see the first room changed if you can see it okay uh, okay uh, here okay you can see it so uh, these gray lines changed to show like a corridor if you want to call it like that <coughs> anything inside that uh, 3d box rectangle thing will be uh, rendered so uh, to avoid rendering uh, objects 
that are too far in the screen I'm going to be changing the clipping planes here and use a far plane of 10 changing the uh, far plane as you can see the size of this box changed okay so now uh, what we have here is that only things that are inside this box will be rendered and we won't be rendering things that are very far that could make our game go faster next thing we're going to be doing to the camera under the clear flags we have several options we have the skybox uh, as you can see on the left side uh, the skybox will render like a like a sky Okay, then we have solid color, which is uh, just like a plain color that we can change. We can make it like, like pink, dark green, anything we like. We have test only, which is a render that uh, only draws uh, things. Uh, objects but not any background the background uh, will be static and don't clear with don't clear uh, we will have a, a a camera that doesn't make any changes to the things that have been drawn before I don't know if I could show you like make a cube Okay, I'm going to use play. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, it's rendering. It doesn't matter uh, if the camera is like that, the cube isn't showing any perspective. Okay. So, we'll be using things like that to, do our, to make our game. I believe don't clear or death only uh, are better uh, for performance, so I will be using don't clear and change it later if we need to. Uh, there are other settings here, that, but uh, we aren't going to be using it. Uh, what we are going to be doing is uh, to remove both the uh, gear layer and the flare layer because we are not going to be using them right now so right uh, click on the on this uh, cog icon and remove components now the last thing uh, we need to do uh, to start uh, working on this project uh, sorry uh, whenever you change anything here on the inspector and the game is running like uh, you can see on the uh, top side that uh, there is uh, the play button is pressed and uh, whenever you uh, stop playing the game every change will be uh, will be undone so you want to make changes in the specter only when you are not uh, in play mode so remove those components remove these uh, cube right here also I forgot to mention how you move around the, the scene here uh, that's why I uh, put some cursors or keys on the screen uh, the main movement is to right click and use WSD to move Okay, you can also use uh, other movements or like things like that but uh, you can see the keys I'm pressing so you should have no problem doing that next uh, I'm going to be deleting the light 
and that's because uh, uh, we will we will be implementing our uh, own light system later on. We will be writing some shaders. Uh, so since we have this screen right there, we want to click this icon. Okay, if you click this icon right here, you'll have an empty neutral gray with, uh, scene. Okay, I'm going to be also toggling off the lighting and then if we want it to we can use the 2D perspective uh, to move around the, the place. Okay. So after we've made uh, all our changes to the project, we want to save this scene. And I like to use a uh, test scene. I'm making a new folder here called scenes. And uh, adding a test scene. Since I was in the assets folder, you can uh, see down here that uh, it changed and now we can see here that we have this scene okay so this is these are the basics uh, uh, setup that we will be using for this project uh, as we go on we might change some of our settings but uh, for a, a start, uh, this will be enough to make uh, what we want. So, uh, if you want to see more, check uh, the links uh, down in the description box. Uh, don't forget to, su su to subscribe if you like to see anything more of these projects. And have a good day.